Ah, I didn't see you there. Winter is a time of dark flavours and a bit of spice. And it's also game season, so I like to have in store preserves best suited for roasted meats and pies. This is my favourite chutney recipe. For this recipe, you will need apples, wine vinegar, mustard seeds, salt, raisins, sultanas, chilli, brown sugar, lemon and ginger. First I'm going to prepare my apples. The apples need to be peeled and cored or you can peel them and cut round the core. You need to make sure that they are chopped to roughly the same size so they will cook evenly. You can use any eating apple, but sharper ones are best, like a Pitmaston pineapple or a Ribston pippin. I am using russets. The peels and core can go to the pigs. And now I'm going to sprinkle my apples with salt. This will not only stop them going brown, but will draw out some of the moisture. Ideally, this will then be left overnight, but a good few hours will do if you haven't got the time. Now that my apples have rested, it's time to prepare the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to peel my ginger and then mince it. Slice my chilli. Add in the sugar. Sultanas. Raisins, mustard seed, my vinegar, and juice a lemon.
And now this is ready to go to the stove to be cooked. Chutneys are from India. This recipe is certainly not from Britain. It says you should leave the chutney out in the sun every day for a month. I'd quite like the sun to be out every day for a month. Here in England, we really enjoy Indian flavours. Even our Worcester sauce started off as an Indian relish. This chutney is going to need to be stirred for about three quarters of an hour. So I think I'll leave that to Mary Ann. Mary Ann has done a good job making sure this hasn't stuck to the bottom. You should never let your chutney cool in a copper pan. It can turn green and you risk third degree poisoning. I'm now going to put it in this jar. These have made life much easier as they seal really nicely. If you haven't got a jar, you can always use cork and wax or what I grew up with, a pig's bladder stretched over the top of a jar. Chutney is best after it's been kept for a while. So I'm going to put this in the dry larder for about a year. Don't forget to label it. There we are, English chutney.